Tell me the best celebrity that has hit on you, because I know people must be like, hey, why don't you like my status down there? Ew! No? I don't really date celebrities. I mean, they do hit on me. It's mostly black ones, of course, but I don't date them because a lot of them have turkeys here in Hollywood. <laughs> That's true. It's so true. I know. It's gross. Do you have a problem with that? Because if you do, you should probably leave this. Oh, no, not at all. I mean, hello, I was the biggest whore ever, but I had a stop <laughs> for reasons. <laughs> yeah. I love your boobs. Wow, that was a lot to say the least. And that isn't the only clip I've recently seen of Trisha being prejudice against people of colour. And I will point out these are old clips, so take that for what you will. But I've recently also discovered a, another compilation of like a TikTok video where they got different clips of Trisha being prejudice in different ways, which I'll play for you now. And let me just be clear that the only reason I'm saying prejudice against people of colour rather than the R word is just because YouTube suppresses. But here's the other clip. I don't mean this to be like racist, but okay, well, it's gonna come out racist anyways. But there's just these six really scary looking guys. I mean, I love black men. I have many relations with black men, but these black men look like they're gonna kill me. Okay, I used to only date black guys. Like, like literally for like two years of my life I only dated black guys like that's all I wanted to date and not even for their personality or looks like just because I wanted to date a black guy oh he's like a toy it's like oh I got a middle eastern you know oh my god it's fun I was I just thought it was like really cool no because people think I fetishize Jewish people because I love Jewish men yeah I but love I don't, you men. shouldn't say I obsess <laughs> because it's like I didn't really care about the personality I didn't even really care if they were like good looking you know what I mean I was just like I just want to date you because you're black and I'm white and I think that'd be really hot. Mm. You just fetishize him. I always ask him that too. I'm like, I wonder if I just like like the idea of you. You say like, that new. to him? Yeah, like he's like, I don't know if it's like he's just different and new and like a toy. So I'm That's like, well, this what is it fun. Is. What kind of turned me off from the whole the whole race is, and this is so bad. It's like one guy. One guy was, and literally the next day, an Israeli man shows up to my house with a gun. And blaming all of Israel. But why don't you move? Um, I had like whatever, like a couple of, like really bad relationships with bad dating times with two guys that just happened to be African American, which kind of like turned me off in general. But annoying, like I'm so over Israelis and Jewish. I'm over it. Well, that was fast. <laughs> so no more uh, Jewish food reviews. No, I'm over it. <gasps> uh! And this one hot. Like I like fetishize or obsess over Jews, but I just love them. What do, so you what do you love about Jews? They're so different. Really? Like, what? How do you know that he's not just like a prop for you? I don't. Oh, I don't know. Do you ever know? But he's so gorgeous. I want to date that man. That I don't mean this to be like racist, but... Whenever anyone says, I don't mean to be a uh, but, that completely negates anything you're about to say after in the sense that it is most likely 100% gonna be fucking racist so why don't you just pause there think about what you're gonna say think about why you feel that way and why you're projecting it onto whoever it is that you are projecting it onto and this tweet from trisha says pretty sure if i exclusively f jews i'm not anti-semite which was in response to trisha you said some really anti-semitic things in one of your videos from last year please do not write hebrew things i'm referencing to the video where you talk about religious jews in los angeles don't try to deny this you said it and we all know that trisha has kind of had a weird obsession with jewish culture my jew okay this is the one i had a problem with okay. now now trisha <laughs> you know you can't you says rating my jew lunch uh-huh do you not see what's the problem with that i couldn't fit ish in there but jew is like a derogative no my jew lunch i think it's the way if you say it i was writing like oh my jew lunch i can tell you with on, with 100% certainty, you cannot say that. It's offensive. Moses said it was fine, and he is from Israel and had a bar mitzvah, so he is. Well, Jew. <sighs> and I'm with Ethan on this one. I really don't think you can use the word Jew as an adjective. If you were to say something like, this is my Muslim lunch, or this is my black person lunch, I don't know. It just oh, it just gives me the wrong feeling. It feels, it feels wrong. But she's been really open about her kind of weird obsession with Judaism, and the culture around it, and it's all just a little, yeah, I don't know, it's like fetishizing, it's weird. So this tweet says, anti-Semitism is hostility or discrimination against Jewish people. That was obviously a joke in the text, a poor one at that, it wasn't malicious. 
If I discriminated against Jewish people, that would mean I don't work with them and I sure as hell wouldn't be marrying into it. Which leads me into the next clip. I yep. got Jewish on me every night, you know what I'm saying? Stop. <laughs> Inseminated with Jewish. Stop, it's disgusting. Ugh, I hope I'm pregnant. Anyways. Uh... Confident. I will say that the only thing funny about this is like, Ethan's just absolute unfiltered, just disgust and disdain for what he's hearing. I mean, the way his face is just like, oh fuck, not this again. And it is just weird the way she talks about Jewish culture like that. I don't know, I don't know what 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 it is, but it just gives me the heebie-jeebies. Okay, I used to only date black guys. Like, like literally for like two years of my life, I only dated black guys. Like, that's all I wanted to date, and not even for their personality or looks. Like, just because I wanted to date. A black guy. Oh, he's like a toy. It's like, oh, I got a Middle Eastern, you know? Holy moly, that is probably one of the worst clips I've seen. She just, oh my god, she treats them as like a little accessory to her, like her handbags and all of that. Like she can just, you know, put them on and, and make her feel better about herself and the way they just like add to her aura. And she, oh, I think the, the perfect way to describe it is just she treats them like an accessory. They are not part of her life they're just additive to it and she somehow manages to use these men as kind of just ways to make herself feel better about herself i don't know what that says but i don't know i just thought it was like really cool so oh, because people think i fetishize jewish people because i love jewish men yeah I but love I don't, you men. shouldn't say i obsess <laughs> because it's like i didn't really care about the personality i didn't really care if they were like good looking you know what i mean it's just like i just want to date you because you're black and i'm white and i think that'd be really hot to me, again, this is just the whole treating them as an accessory and not as a human being in their own rights. She just wanted to date them because she felt it would look cute, it would look nice, it would make herself, again, feel better about herself. She's so gross. Go watch a movie, go out, go for a walk and get a dog, I don't know. Don't get a black guy, what? You shouldn't be looking at the colour of their skin to judge whether you want to get in a relationship with them. That's just... that is racist. If that's the first thing you look at to decide who you want to get in a relationship with, then you need to take a harder look at yourself. Fetishize him. I always ask him that too. I'm like, I wonder if I just like like the idea of you. You say like new. that to him? Yeah, like he's like, I don't know if it's like he's just different and new and like a toy. So I'm like, that's oh, this what is it fun. is. What? Jeez, like a toy? It's like the new fidget spinner or something. They're a freaking person. Kind of turned me off from the whole the whole race is and this is so bad it's like one guy one guy was and literally the next day an israeli man shows up to my house with a gun and blaming all of israel but why don't you move um i had like whatever like a couple of, like really bad relationships with bad dating times with two guys that just happened to be african-american which kind of like turned me off in general but annoying like i'm so over israelis and jewish i'm over it well, that was I'm fast <laughs> so no more uh jewish food reviews no i'm over it <gasps> Although she hasn't done anything that much publicly recently to do with Judaism and Jewish fetishization and whatever, I wonder if she still treats Moses in the same way that she did these other guys, whether they were, like, as how she describes, whether she treats Moses as a toy, whether their relationship has some more meaning and depth to it, which I hope it does for both of their sake, to be honest. And moving on from that, I found a clip with her talking to Jeff Riddick where she just pressures and pressures him into talking about his eye injury when he clearly is uncomfortable and keeps saying that he doesn't want to talk about it but she keeps pushing it on him and to be honest jeff was the victim in this situation where you know he had nearly went blind because of david's stunt so i don't know why she keeps going on at him as if he was in the wrong about something anyway here's a clip don't talk about it don't yeah. fucking bring that up and i was just like oh my god well i've been i, I was in, in a bad accident so i've been recovering yeah. But the minute I brought up, like, what's wrong with your eye? Don't talk about it. Don't yeah. fucking bring that up. And I was just like, oh, my God. Well, I've been, I, I was in, in a bad accident, so I've been recovering. Was and that in Utah? And stuff like that. Your eye was in Utah? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, I don't really want to get into but that. But it was a David bit, right? It was for a vlog? I don't, no, I don't want to get into any of that stuff. Can you see out of your eye, Jeff? Oh, he's gone? Yeah. Oh. No, he's here. So you're fine. You're not. You're not blind. I'm not trying to be insensitive, but you're not. You you can see. I mean, I don't want to talk about health stuff. Really, this is about okay. the victim and not about me okay. and my. Own. Um. This leads me into the next clip of Trisha's recent podcast of Chemical Imbalance, where she talks about how she was kind of just 
trolling people a lot of the time and abusing herself with her mental health and I wonder whether some of this was just pushing people to the edge in a troll-like way where she didn't really have any respect or boundaries when it came to other people's mental health. Trolling, for instance, purposely making people mad, I was getting rewarded with money. Um, then I started, you know, just really exploiting my mental illness, if I'm being honest, like things, thoughts that I think and then putting them out there for the world, some honest, some not. As, and when I say honest, like some real honest emotions and some exaggerated. Again, not lying, but some exaggerated. And I, and I exploited that and people. And I feel like she's trolling in this very sentence saying not lying, just exaggerated, referencing the whole teacher thing where for the majority of stuff, we don't know, you know, still with the, what was truth and what was lies. So she's still playing and pushing people's buttons to try and comment about that whole situation when, you know, that really should just be put to rest now if she was really sorry about everything that happened and how it all went down i i just can't take it seriously and i think that's the tr like allure to the whole trisha persona is you never know what's real and what isn't and i think the saddest part is people want to like her people want and can see themselves in trisha a lot of the time because she's you know she's been bullied she is you know what isn't conventionally attractive in terms of body figure but she's still like really successful in her own right in terms of you know growing a platform from nothing you know for 15 years that's a that's a hell of a long time to be around for on youtube so she knows how to work it and i think that just speaks volumes to how she knows how to get into the algorithm how she knows how to trigger people and troll people and get people talking about it and i think that's the saddest part with trisha she could be loved like you know we saw with frenemies people wanted to love her so they did they see you know a positive side to her they saw what they thought trisha was like turning on a new leaf and becoming someone that they could relate to in a positive sense and she she ruined that for herself and it's just it's really sad because i think there's definitely a lot of self-sabotaging that comes into it or whether i don't know actually maybe not maybe she's just a, a, a bad person i'm not sure speaking of whether she's a bad person or not i don't know whether this tiktok speaks volumes in that sense because it was an old one, I think it was three months ago, but I found it and um, yeah, I think it maybe says some of the reasons why she's decided not to apologise for everything that's recently gone down with the whole teacher, you know, you know what I'm talking about, the essay stuff. It's just never been my thing, not into it, so not approved by me. But that's all I have for this video. I, I don't know how much more of all this Trisha shit I can take. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much if you've liked and subscribed. And if you haven't, please consider. I would greatly appreciate it. And would love to see you around in my next video. Okay, thank you. Bye. Say what you want to say to me now.